Hi everyone, we're going to go over six cases where the graph of R of X does not cross the horizontal or oblique asymptote. Basically, we're looking at how to show this algebraically. You want to look at a calculator later, you can, because it's kind of nice to see that as well. But we're, this video is just about how to show it algebraically. And the first step we're going to have to do is find the horizontal or oblique asymptote and then um, we're going to work on it from there. In this case, we know the degree in the numerator, which is p of x, oops, over q of x, the degree is 1, and the degree in the denominator is 1. That means when the degrees are the same, you just divide the lead coefficients. So it's going to be y equals 3 over 2. So, that's all you have to do on that. That's the uh, horizontal asymptote, and this is actually your y, and all you do to see if it crosses is you set y to equal 3 halves, and then set it to your equation, your rational equation, and then you cross multiply. Okay, and so it's just going to be 3 times 2x plus 4 equals 2 times 3x plus 3 and go ahead and distribute that and you get 6x plus 6 equals 6x plus 4. Now what happens is um, you can cross out the 6's and you can either solve, you know, you can either just leave it and say 6 doesn't equal 4 or you could subtract the 4 and you could say 2 equals 0. That doesn't make sense. So if you see something like this, where it does, there's no solution, that means it does not um, intersect. So let's just say y, uh, r of x does not intersect the horizontal asymptote at y. doesn't intersect at all, but it doesn't. Uh, intersect our horizontal asymptote at y equals 3 halves. Okay, next one is very similar. Um, the degrees are the same, so you just divide the lead coefficients. So that's be y equals 2. That's your y, so you just set 2 equal your equation, and you cross multiply, so you can get 2x minus 2 equals 2x plus 4. And what happens here is this crosses out, and you get this something like this. Um, or you could have added the 2 and got 0 equals 6. Anything you would have got, it doesn't make any sense. There's no solution. So R of X does not intersect. I'm not going to write this out anymore. Intersect our horizontal asymptote y equals 2. Now here we have one where the degree, we can actually call this 0, is smaller than the degree in the denominator. The numerator degree is smaller than the degree in the denominator. So that means our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. So you go ahead and set this to 0. And this is 0. When you cross multiply this um, 0 over 1, this cancels out, and you get 0 equals 3, which of course doesn't make any sense. It doesn't equal it, so uh, it does not intersect. So, does not intersect. Our horizontal asymptote. And the next one is the same thing. Our horizontal asymptote is 0. You set the equation set to let that be y. When you cross multiply these two, that's just going to be 0. So you get 0 equals 6. Doesn't make sense. So no solution. Therefore it does not intersect. I wanted to do one with an oblique asymptote. So uh, we've got two more with obliques, and that's it. 
Uh, I gotta find the oblique asymptote. Remember the slant, that's just a line, something with the uh, y equals mx plus b format. So let's divide this long division wise. And when you do that, you can get x, so multiply x squared plus 2x. When you subtract, you're going to get um, that cancels. You get negative 5x minus 4, so this would be minus 5. So now let's set this um, equal to each other. I'm going to set this here, x minus 5. Uh, our oblique asymptote is y equals x minus 5. We're going to let this be your y. So set it um, x minus 5 equals x squared minus 3x minus 4 over x plus 2. And okay, and then when you cross multiply, you're going to get x squared. Um, Oh, let's just do it the long way. So basically, you're going to get uh, x minus 5 times x squared, or x plus 2, equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. When I FOIL this out, I'm going to get x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now, what happens is when you subtract x squared and add 3x to both sides. This all goes away and you get negative 10 equals negative 4. Doesn't make sense so that's no solution. Therefore um, the graph R of x does not intersect our oblique asymptote y equals x minus 5. Okay, and the last one, we get to do the same thing because the degree in the numerator is one more than the degree in the denominator. That's one. And we're going to go ahead and divide x squared minus x. Subtract. Cancel. So you need two negatives. That's 4x plus 2. So it's going to be plus 4. And then if you want to go ahead and do that, it's going to be 4x minus 4. And we don't really care about that because this is just going to be your remainder. Um, when you subtract, the remainder is going to be 6. If you recall that when you're doing limits, that this doesn't matter. So our oblique asymptote is y equals x plus 4. Now set this as your y. So set them equal to each other. x plus 4 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. When you cross multiply, you're going to get x plus 4 times x minus 1 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now FOIL this out, you're going to get x, so FOILing it. You're going to get x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now you notice that these are the same, so they cancel out. So you're going to get negative 4 equals 2. Doesn't make sense, no solution. Therefore, the graph of r of x does not intersect. our uh, slant asymptote at y equals x plus 4. Does not. Thank you. That's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.